I think we're unique because we stay focused on uh, our mission. It's not about us, it's about the people we serve. It's in my blood and I, I don't know anything different. It's rewarding to, you know, do something that's greater than yourself. Helping the community out, and helping people, that's the biggest thing. It's about Mr. and Mrs. Smith. When they call in the middle of the night and they need somebody to come help their problem on their worst day, whatever it might be, their house is on fire, they're involved in a, a motor vehicle accident, we're there to help them. One of my biggest fears is the day that, uh, you know, due to age or whatever, that I can no longer do it because this is literally my life. Childhood dream. Even on someone's worst day, I'm there and I can make a difference. To help make somebody's day better. When they call 911, it's because they don't know what to do. When the call comes in, we don't ask any questions. We don't care whether the person, what religious affiliation, what nationality the person is. I'm not here for me, I'm here for we, and we're here for them. I'm Daryl Kaiser, I'm fire chief here at Garden Spot Fire Rescue. I've been with this department for uh, 29 years. Uh, Stephen Kunzley, I'm the deputy fire chief and I have been serving for 21 years. There's a number of things that make Garden Spot Fire Rescue unique. We're strong, we emphasize good leadership. For anything and everything we do, we're focused around preparedness, service, and professionalism. The wealth of knowledge and experience that comes there and a respect for everybody and what they can contribute to the cause and what we're gonna do. I'm a second generation firefighter. Uh, my father was a life member here. Uh, before his passing and my uncle uh, as well was a volunteer firefighter and, and chief officer for many, many years. Uh, Dan Zink and I've been a member firefighter for 17 years. My name is Jack Rudder, been here for 65 years. Daniel Hoyard, I've been running here since uh, 2008. I'm Sarah Ames and I've been with Garden Spot for about six years. In my second year as a sergeant, first female sergeant, so I do try to uh, do a lot with up and coming females in the firehouse, trying to start some mentoring and hopefully get some more girls in. Tuesday night is training night and it usually has a lot of preparation. There's, there's a schedule made out. That one night we try to make training as real as we can. We have a, a training curriculum that uh, we kind of uh, developed in house. It's a good guide for uh, new members, people coming in with no experience. It gives them a, a, a track to kind of follow because if they're willing to help, we're willing to train them. Well, years ago, you jumped on the fire engine and went to a fire. You know, that was it. Today, these young fellows are going through a lot of training. Uh, it's a very good job they do. Um, we can field five to six units fully staffed any time of day or night. Um, with qualified trained personnel ready to work. When I think when we work together as a team and we have a great outcome as a team, I mean, it's no different than winning a ball game as a team. Uh, we're a very large volunteer organization. We have three stations with about uh, 85 active uh, members, which is a lot. Trying to keep an organization, a volunteer organization of this size, um, fully operational and functional on a day-to-day -day basis uh, is is a challenge, but it's a fun challenge. When you pick up the phone and call 911, I can guarantee you that probably within three to seven minutes, somebody's gonna be at your front door and be there to help you and, and, and change whatever situation you're in. 